Father, we, we pray for our city leaders as they face difficult decisions in these tough times. We will rely on your guidance as you grant us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Help us to be leaders of great courage as you have given us the responsibilities to watch and guide over this city in which we reside. We ask that you help us to be strong and of a good courage and that we will do all you have commanded us to do. Help us not to fear the decisions we have to make because you are with us. I pray that we will not grow weary, nor give up of doing good. Father, we come before you to pray for those infected with this virus. We pray for not only their healing, but for them to be comforted while they are healing. Father, please heal them inside and out and provide them with medical care they need, with the medication they need, and with the healing not only physical, but spiritually, so they may live life abundantly ahead. We come to pray for those who are caring for those that are sick. It takes a kind and selfless heart to care for those who are sick. So, Father, we pray for them. We pray uh, that you would be their source of rest, their source of replenishment when weary, and their source of hope in such overwhelming times. Father, protect them against the germs of coronavirus as they nurse others back to health. Father, we thank you and we love you. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Bowen. Uh, so I am now going to open our meeting of July the 7th, 2020 and call it to order. Uh, City Secretary, we have an uh, open yes, forum, I believe. Yes, ma'am, we do. Michael's going to call in the first gentleman, Mr. Ken Platt. Okay. Um, Jan, can you mute anyone that isn't talking at the present? Yes, ma'am, I can. Thank you. Mr. Platt? Mr. Platt? Yes. Mr. Platt? Yeah, uh, yes, this is him. Can, can hey, you hear Mr. me? Platt. Yes, this is Jan with the city of Nacogdoches. We spoke uh, on the telephone, and I'm going to pass yes. um, you along to Mayor Brophy. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, good evening, Mr. Platt. Before you um, uh, make your statement, uh, I'd like to advise you that open forum is the public's opportunity to address the council on any matter related to the city that is not on tonight's agenda. Your comments are limited to three minutes and in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, the city council generally cannot discuss, consider, or take action on matters not listed on the agenda. So, uh, Mr. Platt, please go right ahead. Great, I, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you, um, Mayor and City Council. My name is Ken Platt, as, as you said, um, with um, Tinko Lighting. And we, we had been working with uh, Jim Jeffers uh, before he left the city um, to really look at options on the, the street lights and, and, you know, potential to, to save money on, on those lights. And I, I know with him leaving the city, you know, it's, it's been a, a bit of a void and, you know, there's all this other crazy things that are going on right now. Um, but what, what our analysis showed for uh, Mr. Jeffers in the city is that there's the potential to save about $7 million on the streetlights um, through ownership. Um, several cities have already done that in Texas. Um, Arlington, Fort Worth, and Wichita Falls have, have acquired their lights uh, from Encore. And several other cities are looking at, are actually in the process of doing that. And, and really the purpose of this, I, I know you, there, there um, is no new city manager at this point. Um, I, I know you're getting close to having uh, one um, that, that you're going to bring on board. Uh, but really, we just want to make sure that, you know, this doesn't, didn't fall down the cracks and, 
you know, with the city looking at many different ways to reduce their budget, um, just wanted to bring this back to the attention during these unique times. And I, I, I know this is really out of the ordinary, and I really appreciate um, you all uh, letting me speak and, and really just wanted to keep it short and simple. I appreciate that, and, and you know, I'd, I'd be glad to talk with, you know, anybody, you know, once you bring staff on about this at a, at a later date. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Platt. Okay. Have a great, have a great night. Thank you. Okay. okay. Give us just a second and we're going to call in Ms. Keenan. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Keenan? Mrs. Keenan? Mrs. Keenan? Hello, I'm sorry, I had it on mute. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mrs. Keenan. This is Jan. We spoke earlier on the telephone. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm going I'm to pass you along to Mayor Brophy. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Ann. How are you? Hi, Shelly. I'm fine. How are you guys? Doing very well. Uh, before you Good. get started with your statement, um, I need to read a really brief statement, please. Uh, thank you. About Open Forum. Uh, is the okay. public opportunity to address the council on any matter related to the city that is not on tonight's agenda. Your comments are limited to three minutes and in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, the city council generally cannot discuss, consider, or take action on matters not listed on the agenda. So please go right ahead. Okay, thank you for letting me speak. Um, um, this is fun. So I was one of the protesters out there on North Street and on Main Street some of those weeks, and I wanted to let you all know that they were very impressive. It was great to see so many citizens take a stand on something that mattered to them, and other citizens who disagreed, let them do that, and supportive citizens honked and waved, and it was, it was really great. The variety of people on both sides were, it was incredible. It made me proud of my city. Um, and as you know, the protests, started because of what happened with George Floyd, um, which is nothing like that's happened here, but all cities all over the country actually are subject to the effects of racism, uh, a lot of it which is invisible to uh, white people, uh, people like me. Just today I heard a woman who has two teenagers and both of them have black kids and they've been stopped by the police. One was like to see if his tail light, the, I mean the light on the license plate was bright enough. Um, but they felt like they were being racially profiled because they were driving a nice car coming out of a nice community. I don't know if they were or not, but I know that that's the feeling, and I heard two other stories today as well, so I know that there's issues here on some level. Um, as a city, we can actually be proud because we have a head start on this. We didn't wait till um, the rest of the country. We've had the Nacogdoches Accountability Commission come up with a plan uh, for a citizen review board, and I know that you all have looked at that quite a bit. I've talked to some of the members yesterday and they said they have uh, filled out applications and talked to city council and have everything pretty much ready to go but understandably we're waiting for the new city manager so i'm also excited that we have the new city manager it sounds really wonderful it's great that he's been here before in the past um, so i wanted just to bring the issue back to your attention again now uh, before he comes on i saw that he'll be here august the 10th starting his job and I hope that uh, maybe on the on another meeting, you guys might uh, find a time to kind of get back together on this and relook at it and make sure that there's no other uh, chores or tasks that need to be done so that this can be ready to go when Mr. Canizares starts his job. Um, it's a timely matter. It's, it's happening now. It's important. And um, I just credit you for the work that you've done and hope we can I brought you to your attention now so that we can work on it quickly. And that's all. And thank you again for all that y'all do. Okay. Thank you. Have a good evening. Okay. All right. You're welcome. Bye. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Okay. And uh, is that it for open forum? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. 
so we're going to move to our consent agenda. And uh, I would like to bring one thing to your attention. Um, and that is under um, B is the uh, budget calendar for this year. I just wanted to make a special note that the, because of the, the way that these dates are um, and how we have to uh, do this with the state, that our September meetings for September 1st and September 15th are going to be moved to September 8th and September 22nd. So I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention. And uh, with that, if there's anyone that would like to remove anything for discussion or clarification, or if it's okay, the chair will entertain a motion for approval. And you would need to unmute if you want to make Motion to approve. I'll second that. Okay, moved and seconded that we approve the consent agenda. Uh, if no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. For our regular agenda, number five, uh, we're going to consider approval of an ordinance amending ordinance number 1819-09-19. And we will be hearing from uh, Crystal Hicks, our assistant library director. Hello, everyone. Um, as she said, I'm Crystal Hicks, um, the assistant library director, and I'm here to ask you to approve um, the budget change that will accept the funds from the um, National Endowment for the Arts Big Read. And um, I'm here to answer any questions that you may have. This is our third year in a row to get the um, Big Read grant, so we're very excited and ready to start getting books into people's hands as soon as possible. Okay, great, thank you. Um, so this has been this has been quite an extraordinary thing for our town to have this, and you all have worked really hard, and I'm so glad you applied again. What is the um, what is the book for this year? It is Circe by Madeline Miller, and it's a retelling of a Greek myth, and so it takes a character that's sort of a a minor character in the Odyssey and follows her life, and so. Um, it's actually, it explores a lot about Greek mythology, but it's also very contemporary as well. So we're really excited. And it's very different from the other books that we've used so far. Okay. I know that you all um, usually have a kickoff party. That was a lot of fun last year. Um, are, are you going to be able to plan something for this book? Yes. Um, we've been in contact with the NEA and Arts Midwest, and uh, they have been very gracious about, you know, understanding that our plans are going to change because we had planned um, many events with lots of partners all over town. Um, so we don't know that those things will have happened, but we do have plans uh, in the works and we are hoping to get everybody together in some way um, it, several times. And this will all take place in the month of October. Okay, great. Um, so, council members, uh, does anyone have any questions? This isn't a question. I just uh, wanted to say um, thank you for for this program and for all the the programming that you guys do. Sorry, my baby. That you guys do around it. Um, I felt very lucky to participate in a couple of them with last year's book and I actually still have it on my nightstand. I loved it that much. Um, so thank you guys for doing this, but also for, for what you guys do for, for our community. Thank you. It's absolutely our pleasure. We look forward to this every year and we're looking forward to it again this year, even if it's going to be a little bit different. Okay. Uh, any any other comments or sure? Questions? I was just going to ask Crystal. Would you remind me? Do you do you remember off the top of your head about how many participants we had last year? I remember being blown away. Yes, we last year we had I believe um, about three thousand um, over the month um, of events. I'm not sure if that's the exact number, but some roughly. I love that. I know that's a lot of. Um, 
logistics and a heck of a lot of administration. So I, I just want to honor you for that. I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else? And if not, uh, Chair will entertain a motion uh, for approval. I'll make a motion that we approve agenda item number five as it's written. I'll second that. Okay. Moved and seconded that we approve agenda number five as written. Um, if no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 No. Uh, any opposed? Motion passes. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you all. Uh-huh. So agenda item number six um, is uh, board appointments. Uh, twice a year, council considers appointments of over 100 opportunities for citizens to serve on boards and commissions. Um, for us, this is a great opportunity to meet citizens wanting to serve our city. Uh, and it's also a tough job since there are so many of you wanting to serve, it can be difficult in making some of those decisions. Um, if you applied and were not selected this time, we encourage you to volunteer with one of our groups, attend their board meetings, stay engaged, and apply again. Uh, and as a reminder to council, um, each board nomination uh, well, there will need to be a motion and a second. So let's get started. Our first board is the CVB board, and there are two nominees that will serve for three-year terms, and that is John McLaren and Damon Ruckel. Uh, Mayor, are you making a motion and we just do the second? Yes, thank you. Okay, well, I second. Okay, moved and seconded. Uh, if no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Uh, I move that for the Historic Landmark Preservation Committee, we uh, on, uh, I'll nominate Carol Walsh for a three-year term. I'll second. Sarah, okay. Okay. Uh, moved and seconded. No further discussion. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Uh, for the Housing Authority Board, the motion is to nominate uh, for a two-year term uh, Pat Williams and Heather Olson Beal. I'll second, second it. Okay. <laughs> Moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. The Mayor's Committee on People with Disabilities. Uh, let's see, three member terms expire, three other terms. Uh, three year, let's see, three year term. Oh, for the chairman. All others are two year terms. So uh, nominate Janie Richardson, Laura Sowell, and Victor Galan. I'll second that. Okay, moved and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, any opposed? Motion passes. For the Parks Board, uh, and these are three-year terms, the nomination is for Michael Montes, Charles Tut, Don Stover, and Mark Sowell. Second. Moved and seconded. If no discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. For the Planning and Zoning Commission, two-year term, uh, the nomination is for Alex Mills and Ken Depish. I'll second that. Moved and seconded. If no discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. For the Zoning Board of Adjustments, uh, two-year terms, uh, the three regular members that are being nominated are Marianne Bentley, Olivia Carizzi, and Ed Poole. And the alternates nominated are John Wyndham and Charles Wheeler. Second. Okay, moved and seconded. If no discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion passes. Uh, so now, let's see, uh, 
Pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.074, uh, Council will be going into executive session. It is now 5.50 p.m. Okay. Uh, pursuant to Texas Government Code Section 551.074, it is 5.56 p.m. on J July 7th, 2020, and Council has returned from executive session. Um, and according to, let's see, A, personnel matters, um, I would like to make a motion to appoint Mario Canizares as city manager for the city of Nacogdoches, effective August 10th, 2020, and to approve the agreement memorializing the terms of Mr. Canizares' employment. I second your motion. Okay, moved and seconded. Uh, if no further discussion, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Nope. It's unanimous. Uh, that passes. So that concludes our meeting for July 7th, 2020. Thank you for attending.